Arizona Congressman Trent Franks joined several Republican lawmakers in Washington today to renew calls to defund Planned Parenthood, arguing that the organization has an abortion-first mentality. Cronkite News reporter Zi Zeng brings us details from Washington. And I hope that the sands of time blow over that Capitol dome before we ever give one more dime of taxpayer dollars to this insidious, deceptive, evil enterprise. Franks was one of six Republican House members who met at the Capitol to say the time has finally come to eliminate federal funding of Planned Parenthood today. The event is organized by Life Action, an organization whose mission is to end abortion in the U.S. The group said it went to close to 100 Planned Parenthood clinics seeking prenatal care and was turned away at most. That's why it organized the rally demanding a stop to tax funding for Planned Parenthood, which it said got more than a half billion dollars in 2013. Life Action founder Lila Rose said the money could be better spent. It's one of the biggest shams that exists today. I believe it is the biggest sham that exists today in American politics, in the lobbying market, to try to parade themselves as an essential women's health provider when there are 13,000 federally qualified health centers that provide more comprehensive care that are not focused on abortion, that are far more worthy to receive those pa taxpayer dollars than Planned Parenthood. We talked to Planned Parenthood officials in Arizona by phone today. They said live action was doctored to damage the reputation of Planned Parenthood and that they expected it would be debunked like the other recent undercover investigations. In Washington, D.C., it's Zeng, Cronkite News.